Hi and welcome to Masterclass. In this session, we hope to help you choose your next camper. We're gonna go through the different types of campers and how they may or may not suit your camping lifestyle. Firstly, we're gonna start with the soft floor camper. These are your entry level campers. You can buy them for as little as six or $7,000 for something that's worthwhile, but they give you an enormous amount of space for the money. So dollars per square meter, they are terrific. Now, if your annual leave consists of a two week holiday or four weeks holiday, that one or two trips a year, where you pack all the kids, the bikes, and everything into the car and the camper and head off, soft floors are perfect. They give you great big annex, lots of room inside. Now inside this particular camper, you can put three stretcher beds in the living area, plus you've got a queen size bed for mum and dad. That'll sleep five fairly comfortably. Then, with the annex, if the kids want to bring some friends, you can pop them out here on stretches and sleep a few more people. The volume of storage in a soft floor camper is excellent. There's easily a couple of cubic meters of space to store everything under the tent. Now, the one downfall of a soft floor camper is the setup time. They do take a bit of time to set up once you get to your campsite. Now, to set up a main tent on one of these will take you anywhere between, say, 20 and 40 minutes. So you're looking at around 45 minutes to get everyone into bed. Then there's setting up chairs and other things. To set up a full annex, add about another 45 minutes of setup time. So if a quick weekend getaways are your thing, a soft floor camper may not be ideal, and the kids may have grown up, so it's just, you and your partner and you want to go for weekends away. So let's have a look at the hard floor campers which might be a bit more suitable for that. So this, the rear fold camper, is probably what most people see as the most traditional hard floor camper. They've been around for years, just about every brand has one and there are a lot of great advantages to it. They're very quick and easy to set up. Uh, just about anyone can set them up, young, old, they're quite simple. All the mechanisms are assisted with gas struts, so to open a hard floor such as this one, connect up the winch, undo the latches, give it a bit of a push, and the gas struts will do the work for you, so they're very quick. You can turn up at your campsite with your rear fold camper and be in bed in 15 minutes, which is great if you want to get away on that Friday night, get the extra night away, they're perfect, and they come with a lot of great inclusions stainless steel gas kitchen. Has a sink, has an area to load your fridge in. You can actually get all your non-perishables in the camper and they can stay there until your next camping trip. Very, very easy. The only disadvantage with a rear fold is you need relatively flat ground to set them up. They're not very forgiving if the ground's not level. But other than that, they're fantastic. They're, of the hard floors, they've got probably the largest annex area quite long. A lot of few extra poles, but still, it's going to take you about 45 minutes to set up a full annex. If you're bringing the kids along, plenty of room to let them sleep out under the annex. Inside you've got a floor area, you can get changed, store stuff there. Nice queen size bed, comfortable, high roof with a tropical roof over the top, so they stay relatively cool in warm areas. Right, there's other options you can add to these. Some will have an option to put a kid's room off the back of the camper. Versatile boat racks so you can store your tinny on top. Take that with you. Ensuite to have showers in. Plumbed water, plumbed gas. Very, very easy. So for quick getaways, a terrific option. Over the last five years, what has become extremely popular are forward fold campers. They offer a little bit more versatility in where you can set them up. So let's now go and have a look at the forward fold. Forward fold campers, I have to admit that these are by far my favorite configuration. They are so easy and quick to set up and very forgiving in setting them up on unlevel ground. They come with all the usual features, gas kitchen, plumbed water and gas, sink, fridge slide, storage pantry. They are very, very versatile. What I also love is when you open them up, you've got a seating area in the tub of the camper ready to go with a table. 
The other advantage of having that is it can be folded down and laid up in a configuration as a second bed. So you can put a couple of kids in there or if you're taking your grandkids, put them in there and they can sleep inside the camper as well. You arrive at site 10.30 at night, trust me, you can have everyone in bed in one of these in under 20 minutes once you get the hang of setting up the main tent. My setup time on one of these is about 10 minutes, so I love them. Purely can't get a better thing for me. With both the forward bed and making up the seating area into the second bed, you can actually have all your linen, dunas and everything on them, ready to go. The front bed, you can strap it all down, just take the pillows off and it's ready to go so it can be ready to roll when you want to go camping. Again, like the rear fold, you can have all your non-perishables stored in the van, ready to go at a moment's notice. So just put your fridge in with your fresh food and your milk and away you go on a Friday night. Excellent. As I mentioned with the setup, very versatile. At one campsite I was forced to set up on a slight hill. Now to get the camper level, what I did was dig a hole for the uphill wheel, dropped it in, put the stabiliser legs down and I had a perfectly level camper to sleep in. It was fantastic, people in swags were actually struggling. So there you go, the benefits of a forward fold. You've still got your annex, you can set up an ensuite tent off the annex for your shower and your toilet. It's terrific, sleep a couple of extras out here, not bad at all. So. Two adults, two kids, terrific. If you want to put larger people in there other than the two adults, you can sleep them out under the annex. Now let's have a look at something very similar. Forward fold camper with a slide out rear section that adds just a little bit more versatility. So this camper here is a forward fold with what we call a slide. So the back section of the camper unlatches and slides out an extra 900 millimeters. Gives you a bigger tent, also gives you the facility for a bigger bed here as a second bed. Great, if you've got kids, it's perfect. You can put a longer child in here than you can with a standard forward fold. Again, a queen size bed up the front, so it's excellent. Also gives you an extra 900 millimeters of annex, which can come in handy. Again, great kitchen, great storage up the front. You can put quite a large fridge in there, all the usual electrics, plumbed water, very, very versatile, quite an easy annex to set up. And again, the versatility of setting up on its own footprint and great for unlevel ground. So very much worth considering, even if you just want that extra space to put soft wardrobes or something in there to store the rest of your gear, it is absolutely perfect. Well worth having a look. Now, there is one model that goes even further than this, and that is a dual fold. So let's hop over into the Robson XTT and look at the wonders of a dual fold camper. If I look like I'm really comfortable, it's because I'm really comfortable. Dual fold campers, what can I say? These are absolutely the glamping of campers. There's so much room, they afford you double bed each end, which is great to sleep four people very quickly, very comfortably. Also, the lounge area turns into another double bed. So you can sleep six. Now if your kids are small, you can squash them up. You can put even more in here. Big plus is the size of the lounge, if you're like me, and camping is all about relaxing, stretching out, spending as much time as horizontal or almost horizontal as possible, this is perfect. You can just lay around, play cards, relax. This kind of thing is fantastic. And the added bonus is, these things are so quick to set up. I can set this main tent up on my own in about 12 minutes. And that's without rushing. And it's so easy, just get the poles up. You don't even have to put the spreader poles in it. Unless you're gonna have adverse conditions, heavy rain or wind, you might wanna throw a spreader pole or two in just to tighten things up. Again, tropical roof, keeps you nice and cool when the sun's beating on the, on the canvas. And You'll find with most campers now, they all come with electrics. They'll have at least one battery. The more upmarket campers will have two batteries. Some will even have three. There's options like inverters. So inverters are great if you want to charge things like camera batteries, anything with sensitive electronics in the charger, they're perfect. There's also plenty of 12 volt power. Everything you need in, in modern campers is there. If it's not, it's not that big a deal to get them put in. 
what a space to relax in. You can see six people in here eat dinner at the table. It's fantastic, there's great storage. There's also the floor area can be used as storage as you can in a forward fold, but it's absolutely magnificent with no downside in terms of setup time. The Annex, however, is a little bit more complex than your average forward fold. A few extra poles, but it is huge. For the amount of time it takes to put it up, uh, it actually doesn't take that much time for the square metres you get. With all the walls and floor section in there, you can sleep a cast of thousands out underneath the Annex. They are just so good. They're a little bit heavier than a forward fold. This particular one is around the lightest of the this type of camper on the market uh, due to its unique construction. So you can still tow it behind a Prado. Um, so Prados aren't known for great towing capacity, but you can do it with this camper. And it's just fantastic. You've got privacy screens. You can put the kids to bed at one end, turn the light off, they can go to sleep comfortably make your way into the other bed and go to sleep when you've done all your campfire drinking and socialising. So this is a fantastic option if you've got a bigger family. Uh, the other thing is the size of the camper, the space you've got to move, you're not getting under each other's feet. So it is actually really good for extended stays in one area. If you're going to go to your favourite caravan park or beachside camping and spend two weeks there, you'll actually find this style of camper, you'll get through the holiday without feeling like you've had kids or people under your feet the whole time, so it is a great option. Also, with the extra storage and space in these, you can have things like built-in hot water system. So you've got hot water to your kitchen, hot water to your shower on the outside, so convenient it's not funny a great uh, kitchen to cook on miles of room you can put a quite a large fridge in the front of this so it is extremely versatile it suits everyone and to be quite honest even if you're just a couple with one child it is very much worth looking at it you won't outgrow this style of camper so there you go if you want to absolutely glamp or you just don't want to go without the creature comforts and you want plenty of space, dual fold could be the right thing for you. So there you have it folks, they're the most common configurations of camper trailers on the market today and hopefully we've helped you choose the right camper for your camping lifestyle. For more great tips and tricks, follow the masterclass on our Facebook page.